What's up guys? This is Richard again for this edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to show you a quick way on how to create an elevator pit. Okay? So in this exercise, I'm going to create an elevator pit using structural walls and a slab. Alright? So again, this is a very quick exercise. Hopefully, you learned something from this video. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is... Okay, let me just, uh, there's a CAD file here, okay, this is a CAD file, see, that's a CAD file, and already created uh, detail lines here, so detail lines are visible to indicate uh, twin elevator uh, locations, alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hide first the AutoCAD file here, this one, I'm going to click this, right click and then I'm going to hide the element all right so it's now hidden so what I'm going to do is uh, before I start I open the elevator pit section here okay so this is the view and then I'm going to type WT so when you type WT it will tile your windows okay so tile windows so this is my elevator pit and then this is my uh, plan and then this is the section. So I'm going to click in this view and then I'm going to type WT again just to change the, the placement of the view. So this is now the elevator pit plan and then the other one is the elevator pit section. Okay, so after that, I'm going to select now here on my uh, elevator pit plan. So wait, now, let me just rename the name here hmm. should be elevator okay so in this view in my elevator repeat plan so from the structure so i'm gonna use here slab edge okay slab edge can be found on the foundation panel and then you can see here the slab so you can see the slab edge here okay so it shapes the horizontal edge of a floor slab okay so i'm gonna select this and then after that, I'm going to move my pointer to the edge here. Again, I'm not going to select it. I'm just going to move it. And then I'm going to press tab. So you know already that when you press the tab, it highlights the chain of walls or chain of lines. Okay? So whenever you press tab, it also cycles the selection. Now, once it highlights all the edges, so I'm going to select now to place the slab edge there you go and then i select here modify okay and notice that the hidden lines represent the slab edge in the elevator pit plan you see there's a hidden line here and the slab edge is added in the elevator pit section if you notice right so this is the slab edge Okay, and then after that, going back to my floor plan here, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a wall, a structural wall, so st structure, so I select the wall tool, okay, and then I'm just going to make sure that the location line here is set to uh, finish face interior, and then uh, the for the base constraint, so let's say I want to start on the first floor that's my base constraint and then for the base offset I want it to go down minus 1200 okay okay and then the top constraint okay so I'll just make sure first floor is selected and then the top offset so let's say I'm going to add here minus 300 so from the first floor it will go down a uh, minus 300 Okay, all right, so let me start. So I'm going to use here the rectangle tool. So I select this and then I'm going to click the upper left corner of the opening and then the, wait, uh, let me just change the type. I'll just escape first once. So I forgot to change the type here. So it should be uh, 300 only. So 300 foundation concrete. All right, so rectangle. Okay, then I'm going to click here. Okay, and then I'm going to click here. There you go. And then I select modify. Alright. Okay. So after that, to create walls, 
uh, under the elevator pit opening. So what I'm going to do is, oh, that's the wall now. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a slab. Okay, so if I check this out in 3D view, it looks like this, you see. Uh? So after we create the wall, the slab edge, so we are missing uh, the we are missing for the uh, slab. Okay, so we need to uh, cover this one to finalize our elevator pit. So I just close this first. Okay, then going back to my plan view. So I'm going to select now the slab here. Structural foundation slab. So I select this. And then from the properties. Okay, so for the level, I use a first floor again. But this time... From the first floor, I want the value 1,200 minus 1,200. So meaning the slab that I'm that I'll be creating will start from first floor, but it will go down minus 1,200. Okay, and then I want to add also here an offset of uh, 300. Okay, All right. Then after that. Okay, so I'm now going to move my pointer here. And then I'm not going to click yet. I'm going to press tab. Because again, I want to highlight the edges or the chain of walls. So once it highlights the chain of walls, I'm now going to select it. Alright. And then I select here modify. There's a sketch of my floor. I just need to finish that one to finalize my elevator pit. Uh, no need. Okay. There you go. Would you like? Alright. I just select no. Okay. So this is now the model. Okay. So in 3D view, it looks like this. There you go. Very nice. So this is now your elevator pit. So that's how you create your elevator pit by using your slab edge. You can use your uh, floor tool, your slab tool, and then the wall tool. Okay. So again, hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, you can always put it on the comment section below. You can also subscribe to my channel and to my uh, blog site. It's all included to the description of this video. So once again, this is Richard from Learning with Rich. Have a nice day. Oops.